Hey guys, what's going on today? Finally getting around to doing the review, overview, whatever you want to call it, of this knife right here. This is the CJRB Mini Pyrite. Let's start off with doing sizes. Uh, where's my tape measure? Right there. What you got here is a very tiny knife. I mean, overall, it's just barely five and a quarter inches. You got a two inch cutting edge on a two and an eighth inch blade and about three and a quarter maybe uh, handle. The handle is not super thick. It's just a little bit over three eighths of an inch. Uh, blade height is about an inch. Overall height of the knife altogether in your pocket is about an inch and just a little less than three sixteenths about about five thirty seconds or so anyway um deep carry pocket clip let's uh yeah squirrel let's compare it to some or let's get a weight shall we find out how much this little guy weighs let's find out how much it weighs oziri says that the mini pyrite weighs 1.83 ounces so under two ounces so less than an ounce an inch that's supposed to be good i'll let you decide i think it's pretty good it's all right let's compare it to some other knives let's compare it to you first here is the paramilitary two which you can see makes that knife look really really small here it is Next to the Spyderco Delica. It's been used a lot and got crud on the blade. And it's S30V, so yep, S30V corrodes where I live. And yeah, this makes that knife look pretty dang small. Here it is next to a knife that's more comparable. This is the Cold Steel Mini Tough Light. And you can see they are actually really, really close. I think the Mini Tough Light is just a little bit smaller. And then here it is against the Cold Steel 4MAX Scout. And this little guy can almost fit entirely. Well, it's about an inch away, I guess, from fitting entirely the blade. But yeah, it's a beast compared to this little knife. So, I mean, I can't even get this all on the screen and get close enough to this for you guys to really have a look at it. <laughs> That's how tiny that knife is. It is really small. Um, Let's take a look at the packaging that you get with this knife. It is your atypical CJRB hard, card, hard cardboard box, black. Really fancy for such an inexpensive knife. I think I paid $45 with it on Amazon. Mini Pyrite made in China. Uh, let's see if we can get it open. It's one of the things I don't particularly like about these boxes. They got this coating on them and they kind of get a vacuum seal when they're closed. So, uh, and I don't know about you, but for me, packaging just goes in the closet and never gets used. You get this pouch, you get a wiping cloth, you get all this stuff. You get this little information stuff in the top of the lid, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know how much it costs them to make the packaging. I could sure use a whole lot less of it cluttering up my closet, especially when buying an inexpensive little knife like this. I mean, I get it for some people, that's really a big deal, but for me, not so much. For, for me, for the big deal is, how does this knife perform? Oh uh, boy, let's start with the blade. The blade is actually pretty good. It's thin stock. It is, let's see, what did I do with my tape measure? Do, do, do. There it is. I still don't have calipers yet, guys, sorry. Uh, it is about 330 seconds. So a nice thin blade, very thin behind the edge. I have not sharpened this knife. Um, I've stropped it a little bit. It's all it really needed. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit at work, uh, cutting all kinds of stuff. Um, it cuts and slices just fine for its size. Really good. Um, got a nice little tip on it. You got just a tiny bit of belly. You can get right down in there and cut with it if you want. Uh, that's all good. All good. 
Uh, let's take a look at the handle. It is super slick aluminum. Uh, this is one of the downsides to this knife, especially it being a button lock, because it took me a while to figure it out, like, gosh, I got this other aluminum knife, and it's not super slick, and it's got an access lock, which isn't terribly different, and I can just do that with it, and it's just fine. But this little tiny bit of texture on here makes a huge difference, because when I do that with this thing, um, I don't know how many times, like it ain't even going to happen on camera, of course, but I've gotten it out and it's just slipped right out of my fingers. I mean, this is indescribably slick. It's dangerously slick. It's terribly slick, <laughs> which makes you want to grab it more because it feels slippery in your hands, which means all of a sudden you get like, see your fat kits over there and you go to close it and, and bingo, you get yourself. And I've gotten myself a bunch of times and I've dropped it a bunch of times. And I've, I mean, it's just, for me, uh, extra large hands, not because they're big, huge, fat sausage fingers, but because I have such long fingers. Um, my hands aren't like huge, huge. But this knife uh, just doesn't work with this texturing on it. That's the problem. They made this aluminum way too slick for me. Um, here's a knife to compare it with when you're looking at what, uh, nothing fancy would call competitive options. Uh, this is the, um, Spyderco Dragonfly. And of course the handles are plastic, which some guys don't like plastic handles. I'm not a huge fan, but man, and this little knife, that extra traction is so nice. It makes it so much easier for me to get a hold of where... You know, you just don't have that with this. You just don't. Um, you got this f forward toil on here, which if you're really careful, you can use it. You got to get like half your finger up here. If you just go right down in it like that, it will get you. And I don't have super fat fingers. Like if you have really small little dainty fingers, it might be okay. This would be like maybe a decent knife to give your girlfriend or something. Maybe. I mean, it's still... It's like right there, just fidgeting with it. It just about slipped out of my hand. It is so stinking slick. Um, ergonomically, I mean, as far as if it wasn't slick, the ergonomics would be great. It's just, you know, it's real basic. You can get with your finger up in the toilet, you can kind of get a three finger grip back here. You barely get three fingers, but it's, it's dangerous. Like it wants to slip forward already out of my hand. The only thing holding it in is the pocket clip. So uh, the pocket clip is really good. Flush mounted screws, deep carry, super light, goes in, not very big and intrusive. You know, not like this guy, which, you know, this, this clip, this clip right here would probably be really good on this knife. Uh, I don't have any problems with this clip. I like it, but it could just be a little bit better. Um, or you could take the clip off and just throw it in your pocket. Although reaching in and digging it around for it, I don't know. Uh, the button lock. The button lock is interesting. And I was going to bring out my other button lock knife. And I forgot it, but that's okay. Uh, you have to press this button all the way, all the way to get it to activate. If you just try to put your thumb on it like that, uh, it's... A little bit sticky you have to get it all the way um, I don't particularly like that some people may like that I guess it could be kind of a safety thing uh, it has not failed and I know people say oh spine locking is ridiculous well, no one should spine lock their knife well guess what I spine lock my knives um, because what that shows is that if you put negative force on your blade is it gonna come unlocked and close on you and you can put negative force on a blade just cutting an apple. I don't know if you know that or not, but you can be cutting an apple and get in and go to pull your knife out and that's pushing the blade in a negative force and that could cause issues. That's just the way it is. Um, so yeah, to me, spine whacking is fine. You, you don't have to like it. Different grinds for different kinds, as they say. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Lanyard too is kind of cool looking, brass, decorative, sorta. Gives you a nice little look from the back if you're into the lanyard thing. Uh, this would probably be a great knife to put a lanyard on because it is so small and it would probably help with the grip. I didn't actually think of that until just now. Maybe that would help. But here's the thing. If you've watched this far, I'm not going to keep this knife. <laughs> I'm just not. Uh, I'm just not. Someone out there would love to have this knife. I know that. I know that for a fact. Because knife lovers are knife lovers. And in the right hands, this would be great. In my hands, I hate it. This is two CGRB pyrites in a row that I hate. <laughs> I didn't like the G10 one with the thumb studs. And I don't like this one. Um, and yeah, and it's not because of blade shape. It's because the other one I hated the thumb studs. And this one is just way too slick. So, I am in a future video, not this one, not this video, I am going to give this away. Uh, I'm not going to announce it. I'm not going to tell anybody. You're going to have to watch and keep an eye out. And sometime during a random video, probably at the end of the video, I'm going to pull this out and announce a giveaway and go from there and that's the way it's going to be and you're going to get that knife and you're going to get this box and you're going to get the pouch and all that good stuff and there you go and it will probably be sometime in the next couple weeks so keep an eye out watch my videos and this knife could soon be yours uh final thoughts if you don't mind slickness and maybe you just have better dexterity with your fingers than I do. Um, I think this would be a, a, a decent knife. I think this would be great for a female to put in her purse or whatever. I think she'd love this little knife. Um, whatever. Um, maybe if you have a child or something that's, you know, that you can trust with handling a pocket knife. It might be good for them for that. I don't know. Like I said, smaller fingers would probably have less issues. I would definitely put a lanyard on it um, or something maybe to hold on to. I don't know. That's totally up to you. Uh, it's a great, I mean, the steel ARRPM9, good steel, decent. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. I think somebody will thoroughly enjoy it. And that's what I'm going to do with it. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, more videos to come. I understand things are slowing down a little bit. Uh, when I was doing a video a day, I was off work. It makes it a lot easier. Now I'm back at work, so it's not so easy. So, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Get your family together. Turn off this TV. Get outdoors. Toad Sticker out.